Um, hold on real quick. I'm going to import this uh, second file that I did. You probably didn't, but I did on accident. So file, desktop, there you go. We got this rendering. We're going to drop just the, I'm just going to drop the video right below that one and move this all the way down here. We're going to, I'm going to, don't, you don't have to follow any of this if you didn't do what I did. So I'm just going to extend this to 25 seconds. So, uh, Grab everything right here. I'm just gonna scroll it all the way down. Not to make it any longer, but I'm gonna put a little stretch on this. Time stretch. About 300. Just to, just so it lasts through the whole thing. All right. So we got our intro and everything it started from here um make sure that these come in a little bit more actually these atmospheres some of them come in a little bit more so it starts off like that all right now we're going to go back into this composite folder this right here it's just the composition so i'm going to go in to effects, um, color color correction, exposure. And this is how I create the lightning flash. So, you know, exposure gets bright, goes back down. Uh, we're not gonna animate it just yet though. We're gonna wait until the very end. Uh, and I'm gonna go color correction, curves. Let's drop this on top. And we're just gonna darken it up just a little bit so as that dark look we got in the video. Alright. So we got that we got the uh that cool look you saw in the video. Ends off. Looking like that. Yeah, real cool looking. Alright, so um, now we're going to go back into this. Um, I think that's pretty much it for that right now. Um, let's go back. Uh, we're going to add another effect to it. Um, it uh, I'm going to have the link in the description for this app, for this plugin, uh, this preset. It's uh, by Video Copilot as well. It's called After Shake. Um, it basically does like a little, uh, shaky footage thing to the project. It'll just shake a lot. And we're going to turn down the, uh, right, we're going to turn down this, we're going to turn that to zero. Turn the, uh, no, not the speed. We're going to turn down the amount. To zero we can keep the speed where it is um, and that's going to create the shockwave movement that you that you see when the lightning hits so uh, we're just going to go ahead and keyframe the uh, exposure I'm going to come down here we're going to click U which brings up all the keyframes and effects and whatnot we're going to go about two seconds and we're going to hit this little button right here, which keyframes it at zero again. So through here, it's all going to be zero. And right after that keyframe, we're going to move it up to where we want it. About right there. And uh, we're going to put it back down at zero. Alright, we're going to move these keyframes in just a little bit closer together. And then we're then I'm going to command CV, which is copy and paste them. 
and just go move them in random places throughout the video. Put some further down so it has a little bit of break of lightning. Put some real close together. Um, um, cop, you don't have to do this. This is another mistake of mine. Just have to extend the uh, composition. So, so twenty-five. Okay. All right. Um. You got your cool little uh, intro. Um, let's see, let's go back to the beginning. And when you play it through, it's going to have this little bright light effect. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to go down. Now, we're going to come to the uh, aftershake part right here and we're going to keyframe the amount the uh, amount and slider we're going to click U again on this so it brings up the amount and slider keyframes 